everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A newly proposed theoretical model could finally unify classical physics with quantum physics. A theory of everything capable of describing the universe at the largest and the smallest scales is one of the most sought-after goals of modern physics. The physics of Einstein describe space-time as smooth and uniform. Quantum theories describe space-time as more of a foam with a much more variable texture. Now, a new model proposed by researchers at the International School for Advanced Studies in Trieste, Italy, could unify our large-scale and small-scale views of the universe by focusing on objects that exist in both worlds simultaneously. The model proposes a transition zone, home to things small enough to behave like quantum objects, but with just enough mass to also be substantially influenced by gravity. Best of all, the theorists who proposed this model are collaborating with scientists at the European Laboratory for Nonlinear Spectroscopy in Florence to test it experimentally by observing a supercooled silicon chip made to oscillate by a laser. The model predicts two effects, one based on classical physics, the other based on quantum physics. If both predicted effects can be observed, it could open the door to what the leader of this study describes as an altogether new physics. The study is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Up next, scientists have developed a new method for building molecules. Scientists at the Scripps Research Institute developed the method capable of creating new complex molecules using inexpensive materials. The method modifies a naturally occurring set of chemical reactions called amide bond forming reactions, which bond carbon atoms to nitrogen atoms. The modified reaction bonds carbon atoms to other carbon atoms, making it possible to safely and easily synthesize organic molecules. Being able to synthesize complex organic molecules would be useful in pharmaceuticals, biological research, and pretty much any other field that utilizes chemistry in some way. The Scripps team has already demonstrated their new method's ability to synthesize drugs already in wide use, such as atorvastatin, cetirizine, and pregabalin. The paper on this promising innovation is published in the journal Science. And finally, a new study finds that mortality rates are declining among economically disadvantaged youth in the United States. Generally speaking, wealthier people tend to live longer than poorer people. But according to a just-released study conducted by researchers at the University of Zurich, mortality rates of American children and young adults living in economically disadvantaged areas are falling approaching the mortality rates of people in the same age group living in more prosperous areas. The study found the differences in mortality rates among wealthier and poorer adults to still be significant. This is possibly explained by children benefiting more from public assistance programs, while the damage to the long-term health of economically disadvantaged adults who didn't benefit from such programs has already been done. But with time, as health care and living conditions for poor children continue to improve, the mortality rate of poor adults should begin to decrease as well. This study is also published in the journal Science. A new theoretical model could unify classical and quantum physics. Scientists develop a new technique for synthesizing complex molecules. And a new study finds that mortality rates among poor children in the U.S. are dropping. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Yes, we will. Don't complain to me. You've had it too good for too long.